this is the photo that USMLE will use for pernicious anemia, or at least it's the photo they used in the past. Did you recognize it? If not, let me explain so you get this right on test day. We're going to do a little practice question together, but first, let me explain. 90% of patients with pernicious anemia have antibodies against intrinsic factor. That's the protein you need to absorb B12 into the ileum, the terminal ileum. And that's a big deal because without it, you get megaloblastic anemia and something more dangerous, subacute combined degeneration of the spinal cord. So that's loss of proprioception, ataxia, and even paralysis. So can you answer this question now? 68-year-old woman, progressive difficulty walking, numbness in her feet, long-term smoker, megaloblastic anemia, normal folate, methylmalonic acid, and homocysteine is elevated. Classic B12 signs. What's the most likely cause? Boom. B. Antiparietal cell. We'll give you something like this. All right, it's not SIBO. That can cause B12, but it's with bloating and diarrhea. Doesn't fit the autoimmune background. Crohn's affects the terminal ileum, but it's more common in younger patients and would have GI symptoms. And it's not pancreatic insufficiency. While that is a cause of B12 and rare, it's usually seen with chronic pancreatitis. Like and subscribe for extremely high yield questions every single day.